Hi, welcome to the next episode of Breakthroughs Before Breakfast. My name's Clinton Swain, and I'm the owner and founder of Frontier Trainings. I'm at a course right now called Living Visionary Leadership, where we're discussing leadership principles to help our students get great results in their businesses and their organizations. So if you want to find out more about why this is called Breakthroughs Before Breakfast, go back to episode number one. In there, I cover the whole episode about this concept of having breakthroughs before breakfast. So for today's breakthrough before breakfast, what I want to discuss is build a leadership pipeline. Why is that important? See, for some people, they work for a long period of time with themselves as the focus of the business, and should something to happen to them, the vision is lost. They don't know where to go. The business founders and falls apart. And if you're a business owner, you like a legacy. You want to have your program, your, your company, go on for a long period of time. See, whether you are controlling your company because you're so, such a control freak, you don't have anyone else have responsibility. That's all well and good until something happens. But if you want longevity, you need to be able to train people to come in after you. And that's where a leadership pipeline steps in. See, a pipeline is a constant process. As you're pushing things through, they're coming in one end, coming out the other. The idea here is you're putting new people in your training, and they get trained through the pipeline, and they come out in the end ready to take over. And probably the epitome of this is Jack Welch from GE. When Jack was in charge of GE, he built this philosophy that every position needed to have a number of backups. In fact, for one leader, you might have four, five, six people in training to take over that position should something happen. Now, someone is reputed to have said to Jack one time, Jack, what if you train someone and they leave? And he said to respond, that's true. They may leave. But what if I don't train them and they stay? And that idea of having untrained employees out of a fear of training is a real challenge. But if we're willing to train and train and train and train and train our people, yes, good people will leave. That's part of the challenge. If we're great at training, many of them will leave. Our job is to train more of them than those that want to leave. Because if you've got a business growing and you've got people in accounting and people in logistics and sales, and they, they have all these key people, and something happens, the whole thing can fall apart. An example of this was Marshall University. Marshall University from West Virginia had their entire football team, plus all the coaches, all the physicians, and everybody associated with the team was on one flight. And that flight crashed. And they lost everyone. The city was devastated. All the key people to do with the football team were lost in one go. There are many organizations that make sure their leaders of their company fly on different flights. Even though it's logistically awkward to make happen, by having them spread out the risk, there's no chance of one event wiping out most of the key management. A leadership pipeline allows you to have backup after backup after backup after backup in case there's any challenges. Now, GE, with Jack Welch, they didn't have it just for the CEO. They had all major positions in the company, in the hierarchy, all had to build the leadership pipeline. My good friend, Bill Bartman, who passed away a while ago, he used to do this when he grew his company. He would say, when I hire you, you need to be ready to start hiring the next person after you. So he built a huge business, thousands and thousands and thousands of employees in a very short amount of time. So he needed to be able to bring people on and then train the next people to take over their position as they moved up in the hierarchy. Build a leadership pipeline. So the essence of this breakthrough before breakfast is what can you do to start strengthening your leadership pipeline? Do you have a pipeline at all? How deep is your pipeline? How well trained are the people when they come out of the pipeline ready to assume that position? What are five steps you could do this morning on building that pipeline, what positions you need to strengthen, what extra training you need to do, and what can you do to secure the future of your business by having leaders ready to step up 
in case of a catastrophe. If you want to find out more about these principles from Living Visionary Leadership, you can go to FrontierTrainings.com. On there you'll find out all about our different courses we run around the world to help business owners become more successful. If you'd like to experience three days of amazing training at a very low cost, you can go to go to ptw.com. It stands for go to play to win, go to ptw.com, and on there you can register for our amazing, life transforming three day training called Play to Win. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Breakthroughs Before Breakfast. My name's Clint Swain. I'll see you soon.